She holds a concert each year recognizing the birthday of Beethoven, but this year it's different. Well, I have been watching the current events with uh, tremendous anguish as far as the reaction to the disaster in Puerto Rico. Pianist Kaine Pogosian is rehearsing at her alma mater, the Manhattan School of Music, in preparation for her annual concert, now a benefit concert, to help the Music Conservatory of Puerto Rico in San Juan. After searching for a school, she connected with the music director, Pedro Segada, who shared the school's need for a power generator to conduct daily classes. Joining her effort, violinist Yi Yang Lee, a student at the school, and first violinist Julie Lawrence. Well, when Karina asked me to play for this, I just thought it was a wonderful opportunity to give back to other musicians who have suffered a big hardship in Puerto Rico, and uh, so I'm really happy to be able to give my time. This is a wonderful, really wonderful team, and, uh, and, just, and it's a really good chance for me. M music is about entertainment, in a, in a, but it's also spiritual, and it's about um, expressing, uh, communicating our feelings towards each other. Also part of the quintet, bass player Morten Kahn, who's collaborated with Kahine in the past and who called her choice of Beethoven's Piano Sonata in E Minor, Opus 90, and Piano Concerto No. 4 in G Major, Opus 58, fitting. Beethoven in particular, when he wrote, for example, the Ninth Symphony, was trying to raise us all up, but that we're all brothers and sisters. And his music has a lot of that here. So I always feel that when we're playing Beethoven in particular. So I think this is particularly relevant to try to take care of the poor people in the Puerto Rico. Also donating time, Melissa Eisenstadt, who worked in IT on Wall Street while playing the cello, now an instrument she uses to give back to the communities of this city through the New York Youth Symphony. She shared this on Cajine's resolve to help the music school in Puerto Rico. Her talent, she's fearless to just get in touch with this head of this conservatory and make it happen. And I've, I've, she, I've played in an orchestra that she's performed with and she's such a gifted artist and to get to know her personally has been amazing. And Biola player Brian Thompson is pleased with the opportunity to help another conservatory. I can only imagine if something similar had happened here, you know, instruments would be destroyed. I mean, everything would be in, in flux. So I just hope we can do something to, to help. After reaching out to Sagada, whose website carries daily updates for students, Karine shared this on his reaction. He was incredibly happy. He was so grateful that uh, this will be happening. To catch their performance, they will be at Broadway Presbyterian Church at 114th Street on December 16th at 7.30. For Bronxnap, this is Arlene Makoko.